What is going on everybody? So I have had the ROG Ally for a year and I've had my Alienware X14 gaming laptop for a year and change. And regardless of anything anybody thinks about gaming laptops or gaming handheld devices, only one can perform the best. And my gaming laptop was straight up $1,700 while the ROG Ally was $700 the first time I bought it. But now it's $600. So $100 cut off from the price tag. So pretty much my gaming laptop is $1,100 more than the ROG Ally. And I gotta say, with a huge surprise, the ROG Ally for the most part actually performs more consistent and faster than my gaming laptop. And that is for a number of reasons. There have been some glitches here and there with my gaming laptop in terms of overheating because it is one of the most thinnest gaming laptops in the world, which is the Alienware X14. But also the ROG Ally and Asus are just so much better at support in terms of gaming performance and software performance, working hand in hand to make your games play even better. And honestly, with a lot of gaming laptops, they include Intel CPU chips. And with the most recent gaming handhelds surfacing, a lot of them include AMD CPU chips. And everybody knows that AMD performs so much better than Intel CPUs. And this fact is actually real. Even though the ROG Ally is just a small handheld with a tiny little fan inside and a micro AMD CPU chip, it still performs better than a full-sized Intel Core i7 CPU in a gaming laptop. And that's something I never thought I would ever say in my entire gaming life. Somehow, the ROG Ally outperforms my Alienware X14. And I specifically played Resident Evil 4 Remake on both the ROG Ally and the Alienware X14. And with the Alienware X14, for some reason, there are a lot less frames and a lot more stuttering. I think it might be an overheating issue with this laptop, but this is a newish laptop from quite a large and powerful PC gaming company like Alienware. Their company is specifically tailored to make gaming laptops, not only gaming laptops, but the best gaming laptops in the world. And it's being outperformed by this small ASUS owned ROG Ally handheld gaming device that's pretty much half the size of the Alienware X14. And that fact is absolutely unbelievable to me. The fact that I can play Resident Evil 4 Remake with better FPS and less stuttering on my ROG Ally. And I have actually completed the entire game as well as all the extra modes like separate ways, specifically on my ROG Ally. I haven't touched the Alienware X14 with any title until I tested it recently and somehow it plays a lot worse than it did from the first time I bought it. Now I thought this was just a fluke so I started trying other games and games like Returnal do play a lot better on the Alienware X14 but that's where it ends. Somehow with these Windows 11 gaming laptops there's a lot of games that aren't compatible with them in terms of performance but for some reason the ROG Ally makes every game compatible with it or just 99% of the games out there. And not to mention that Armory Crate is a lot easier to work with than Alienware software is. Most of the time you could just pop up Armory Crate and mess with the TDP so you can save a lot more battery. And of course the Alienware X14 doesn't have a very good battery on it. It only lasts about 30 to 45 minutes and that's with Power Saver enabled. But if you wanna play a game at 120 Hertz on the Alienware X14, you're shit out of luck because it just doesn't reach those numbers when you're playing unplugged. So a lot of these gaming laptops are sort of useless when it comes to battery life. But I would expect a company as big as Alienware to make something at least feasible in terms of portable gaming. And that's the main reason I bought it. Of course, it doesn't take as much wattage as other gaming laptops do because it has such a small battery and small form factor, similar to the ROG Ally. It's capable of 120 watts of charging capacity. So I'm able to attach my 100 watt power bank to it, which enables it to last a little longer, about 40 minutes longer, when I plug in my move speed power bank. The Alienware laptop only gets about three more hours while I'm editing or playing a game. But with the ROG Ally, if I lower the TDP or if I keep it 
at 30 watts, I can actually get an extra four and a half hours of battery life. So I get better performance from the RG Ally and at the very least, a lot more battery life if I'm using something like the move speed power bank but if i lower the tdp which for the most part you can't really do to a specific effect on the alienware x14 with the rg ally you can get upwards of 10 to 12 hours more play time with that power bank that i showed in previous videos which is called the move speed but yes i'm just here to say that in terms of the alienware x14 and the rg ally at least the rg ally is measuring up pretty damn well and it actually plays a lot better than my full-size gaming laptop does now my gaming laptop plays a lot better than my previous asus laptop that included a 1060 of course it plays better but it doesn't play a whole lot better for some reason some of these gaming laptops just don't cut it and it seems like the natural transition is handheld gaming devices. If you're just getting a laptop specifically to play games, I don't really recommend getting a gaming laptop, but instead getting a handheld gaming device like an RG Ally, Steam Deck, or Lenovo Legion Go. Those are a lot better options, or even the MSI Claw, even though I'm hearing really, really bad things about them. Mainly for the fact that gaming laptops that specifically come with Intel chips like the MSI Claw aren't performing anywhere near as well as handheld gaming devices like the ROG Ally, Steam Deck, and Legion Go, which include AMD CPUs. I feel like this is the new future of gaming laptops and the natural evolution of what gaming laptops are supposed to be everything just gradually gets smaller and more efficient and it seems like gaming laptops have in some measurement of time and performance reached a definitive end at least for me i don't really respect gaming laptops with gaming anymore or trust them to that extent i prefer to have laptops to edit i get laptops that are specifically meant for gaming to edit my videos because i know that they're more than capable of doing so but sometimes they're not even very capable of editing very well either. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about gaming laptops versus handheld gaming devices like the Steam Deck ROG Ally, Legion Go, and MSI Claw. Of course, you don't have to include MSI Claw in there. I hear pretty bad things about it, and I know it's because of those Intel chips. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Later.